So I went to Staples and I got them to print on some construction paper uh, a 36, no, 24 by 36 um, paper, the logo that I'll be placing on the um, deadlift platform. Now, it's not going to be color like that. I, I'm going to spray paint it white. Uh, and the reason for that is because I just don't want to take that much time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this poster board that I got, which is the same size. Um, it's going to be 24 by 36. And I'm going to place the logo on top of this. So I'll cut out um, the design, uh, which will be in the poster board and then I'm going to use that poster board as a stencil for the spray paint. So wish me luck because uh, this has never been my strong suit. Now that I've got the stencil cut out, um, now I'm going to attempt to apply it to the plywood. Then it's a finished product. So we are two steps away from having the deadlift platform finished and complete. A lot of fun. I'm going to attempt to apply it to the plywood. I've never done this before. Uh, none of this uh, have I done at all before. Well, I've done a little bit of carpentry and stuff like that, but I've never done this. So I never thought I'd get so much enjoyment from doing something like this, but you know, it, it's like one step closer to what I want to do, which is have my own gym. Who knows, maybe I'll get some turf and uh, I'll lay some turf right in front of it. Who knows, I don't know. Uh, it's a small, 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 small portion of a garage, but uh, yeah, I've enjoyed myself. Anyway, let's get to it. So now that we've used the stencil to paint the plywood underneath, um, now we're gonna let it dry. Now, remember, it's very important that you cover the surrounding area, you apply painter's tape to all four corners so the stencil doesn't move during the time that it's drying. It'll probably be Thursday, before I take it off. I'll be back in a few days after this is dried and uh, only thing left to do once this paint dries is to use some polyurethane to help protect it from sweat, blood, water, and the elements. So, all right, I'll see you in a few days. Dummy, you should have put some weights on the canvas. All right, so today is Thursday. And it's been two days since I last painted this, so um, we're going to remove the outside edging and the stencil and uh, we'll see how it turned out. So here we go. Get this painter's tape off the edges. All right, take one deep breath in. See what it looks like underneath this. Uh-oh. 
Maybe if I had put some weights on it to kind of weigh it down, I could get a better edge around the edging. But then again, you know, these minor imperfections um, when it comes to a logo are what kind of give it its character. So overall, I'm not dissatisfied with it. I think it actually turned out all right. Um, if I were to do it again, if I were to do it again, and this is Greg from the future, um, what I would do is I would actually lay some mats, not some mats, put some weights down onto like the canvas that you'll see down here um, and on the stencil itself. So that way the stencil is weighed down and closer to the plywood and it has more of a flush uh, connection to the plywood. And then also I would put uh, weight around the edges of the mats so you don't get this line um, where the stencil was. What you're seeing me do right here is applying some stain to the paint uh, to help get rid of some of the blurred lines and make it a little more crisp. Now, I would suggest actually doing that last um, after you do what you'll see me do here in a second, which is get some fine grit sandpaper, some sandpaper that I planned on using to sand the, the wood anyway, since I'm gonna apply some urethane. and. Um, what I would suggest you do is actually sand those areas uh, first before you apply the stain. Now, thinking back on this, it seems absolutely obvious, but uh, during the time that I did this, I was so upset with myself and so pissed off that I wasn't thinking straight. So I would actually suggest doing this first, sanding that dried paint off um, off of the wood, doing that first, and then applying the stain um, to those areas that you sanded, because paint only sticks on the surface of the plywood. It doesn't seep into it um, like stain does. So just sanding off that fine layer of paint is the easiest fix that you can do, and then applying, some, applying stain back on top of it is how you fix that issue. Um, but yeah, that's what I would suggest. I'm gonna get back to editing now. Now we're gonna actually do the urethane. So make sure that your urethane is mixed well. Do it slowly so it doesn't bubble. And then you're gonna do one layer. Make sure everything's smooth, even layers. Thin layers are better than super thick layers. Always remember, go with the grain of the wood. Um, yeah, that's it. Let's get it started. All right, so now that we've got the polyurethane on, what we're gonna do from this point is let it dry. Uh, I'm gonna come back out in about four hours. I'll test it to make sure that it is dry. And if it is, then I will sand it with 220 grit sandpaper, and then I'll reapply a second coat after I vacuum it off, dust it off, wash it off, and get all those little tiny fibers off the surface of it. Um, once that's done, then I will maybe apply a third coat and then, yeah, then it'll be done, ready, and good to go. It's Friday, and the urethane is dry. There's no tackiness to it. I let it sit uh, 24 hours instead of the four hours it set on the back of the can. That way, I, I wanted to make sure that it was completely dry. And now, all I'm gonna do is sand it with some 220 grit uh, sandpaper. It's gonna be a very light sanding, right? I just wanna get the surface layers and where it's not smooth and where it's not the same level of um, urethane. So that way, the first layer of urethane can adhere to the second layer of urethane and that way you get a really nice finish. If you don't do that, you can jeopardize what type of finish you'll get. So we're gonna do that um, and uh, yeah.
All right, so we have the second layer of urethane down. Um, I would suggest getting some mineral spirits uh, to wipe the brush down for the second one to get the urethane off the brush um, in between layers. And then of course, once you're done putting on the final layer, so that way you can use the brush over again. Um, I used it anyway, but uh, would have been better had it not had dried a little bit. So yeah, one more day of waiting, one more day of sanding, one more day of urethaning, and this baby will be 100% officially done. The only thing I'll have to do after that is get some wax and wax it. That's it, be ready. But uh, yeah, anyway, um, I'm excited. So I'll talk to you guys then. Hello, check, check. I think it's 200 grain, sandpaper, and then, um, well, fuck. Let me check. This is me watching a YouTube video saying, I could do that. Today is Tuesday. Tuesday is the day that I finally somewhat finished this. So I went to uh, Office Depot. Office Depot um, was unhelpful. Uh, not, that's not indicative of every Office Depot, but uh, I did go to Staples instead. So now all I've got to do is uh, cut it out, which is going to be a pain in the ass. And then I'll, uh, yeah, cut it out and then paint it.